Yo, it's Brian here today. Gonna be talking about the San Francisco 49ers, as always, doing another top three video. This time covering the three important players that I think are crucial for the 49ers' success on the defensive side of the ball this time. Last video, I made it on the offensive side of the ball, so if you want to check it out, check it out in the card section on your top right screen. It should be there right now. And yeah, I think you guys pretty much know how this top three list goes. Let's just get into it. But before I get the video started, as always, please like and subscribe to support my channel. I am currently at 750 subscribers right now. Thank you guys so much for all the support you guys have been giving me this past offseason and hopefully get to 800 soon. My ultimate goal, 1,000 by the time football season starts in mid-September. Thank you guys for all the support. Hopefully, you guys keep supporting my channel and sharing this channel. That would be helpful. So, yeah, let's get into it. The top three important players on the defensive side of the ball in 2018. Coming in at number three, I have Ruben Foster, middle linebacker. Now, I'm excited to see this guy in 2018. Last year, he showed a lot of promise. He probably could have been defensive rookie of the year had he played every single game last year, but unfortunately, he got hurt in week one against the Panthers and ended up coming back a couple of weeks later against the Cardinals. I think that was the game he came back, and he was freaking awesome from that day forward, and he was awesome in the game against the Panthers, but he got hurt in that game. 2018, I think it's going to be freaking amazing for him. He's going to be the leader of this team now that the offseason legal issues are finally out of the way and he's getting his two game suspension out of the way as well I think when he comes back week three against the Chiefs it's going to be freaking lit I think he's going to have an awesome season the only thing he needs to really be worried about right now for the regular season is just to stay healthy I think that's the biggest thing he needs to worry about but other than that the talent is there the IQ is there I'm ready to see what he can do in pretty much a full off season that should be awesome so Ruben Foster leader of this defense I can't wait to see what he can do as the middle linebacker for his second year coming in at number two I'm going to be cheating just a little bit but I'm going to be putting pretty much the entire defensive line because I think this line is so crucial into how the 49ers performed this whole year. Last year they were kind of okay but at the same time they were giving up some big runs. It wasn't as bad as 2016. That was pretty bad. I'm talking about they gave a little bit of runs. I mean Adrian Peterson that game against the Cardinals that was kind of weird but at the same time it's whatever. First season this time in 2018 I think they're going to be better than they were in 2017. I think with a full off season with them being able to gel together hopefully all the injuries are out of the way. I think they're going to be freaking blossoming. DeForest Buckner, hopefully Eric Armstead, Solomon Thomas. I'm excited to see all these guys and what they can do in that D-line wreaking havoc on the O-line, hopefully to the quarterback. That would be one of the biggest goals for this defensive line. I'm excited to see what they can do. Hopefully they can really exceed expectations pretty much because they don't really have the most expectations yet outside of San Francisco but I think they're going to be a dark horse in this defense and hopefully they can perform well and yeah defensive line very crucial got to get to the quarterback hopefully they can and they're going to be very integral for this defense this year Coming in at number one as the most important player on the defensive side of the ball in 2018 is Richard Sherman, cornerback. Now, you're wondering, why am I putting Sherman at number one? He's coming off an injury. We don't know how he's going to be playing now, but I have to put him at number one because of the fact that, one, I think he's still going to be a very good cornerback. By the time week one happens against the Vikings, I think he's going to be 100% healthy. He's going to be ready to play week one. And also, the biggest thing for me is not really the play. That's important. Very good to have, but the leadership. I think that. That's what he brings to the table for this 49er team. He's won a Super Bowl a couple of years ago when they beat the Denver Broncos. He's an all-pro cornerback, Pro Bowl cornerback. He was pretty much the best cornerback for the years that he was in Seattle. I think if he can bring along the defensive play, the mentorship to other players, to younger players like Foster and Adrian Colbert, then that's freaking awesome. And that's what I love about Sherman. From all accounts from mini camp and hopefully in the training camp. He's done a really good job for this team and he's had a very big positive impact for this team. So yeah, that's pretty much why I put him at number one is because of the leadership ability and also his play as well. But the leadership ability is what I really valued the most from Richard. And I think if he can bring that to the table for the young players and inspire the young players to play like him, like the cornerbacks, like Witherspoon and what have you, then it's going to be freaking awesome. Hopefully he can come back to his all pro form. That would be a big plus as well. That's pretty much it, you guys. That's pretty much my list right there. If I had to do an audible mention, I guess I could do Tart and Colbert as well. Safeties, they're pretty important as well for defensive backs. But other than that, that's my list. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know what you guys list are for the top important players for the 49ers in 2018. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. I will try to respond back to you guys as soon as possible. I've been very slow on the comments, so I think the past couple of videos, I haven't responded to any of you guys, so I would try my best to do that. Hopefully, you guys stay tuned in that. If you guys like this, please like and subscribe. That really helps out my channel a lot, and I will be catching you guys up another time, so I hope you guys have a nice day, nice weekend, nice whatever, and I'll see you guys another time. Bye, guys. Love y'all as always.